Model 30 uses approximately 4,000 pounds of mass, 2,000 pounds in each flywheel. Uh, these particular flywheels have their uh, magnetic field. This isn't about plugging into the grid. It's about unplugging for good. Picture a silent machine that keeps spinning when everything else stops. No fuel tank, no flame, no power cord hidden in the wall. Just a low hum and a promise that sounds like a myth. Endless clean electricity. Some say it's already real, sitting in a warehouse in America. They call it the Earth Engine, and the unit people whisper about most is Model 30. If it's true, it could crush the energy crisis overnight. If it's fake, it's the boldest illusion of our time. Either way, listen. From steam dreams to grid dependence. Back in the 19th century, engineers obsessed over steam engines. They chased tiny gains in efficiency because every bit of wasted heat meant wasted money. That hunger for better power never left us. It just changed shape. Today we pull energy from coal, oil, gas, nuclear, sun and wind, then push it through grids built decades ago. We live inside that network. We plan our lives around it. When it breaks, everything breaks with it. And even when it works, the world pays a price in pollution and conflict. So a deeper question keeps returning. What if we didn't need the grid at all? What if power came from the world around us, the same way a sail catches the wind, but in a far quieter way? The planet spins, the air shifts, the ground vibrates, magnetic fields rise and fall. If a device could harvest even a fraction of those constant forces, it could feel like magic while still being engineering. Supporters say the trick is not creating energy from nothing, but collecting energy we ignore every second. That is the doorway this story walks through. It is the promise of a closed loop generator called the Earth Engine, a machine said to never stop because Earth never stops moving. The ghost company called Quantum. Quantum Energy Corporation, as the story goes, was registered in 2015. It didn't arrive with a keynote stage or a famous face. It arrived like a rumor. The founders were described as engineers and physicists from defense work, aerospace projects, and academia. They shared one feeling. Renewables were improving, but the pace was not matching the problem. Solar needed storage, wind needed space and the right geography. Batteries were getting better, but slow to scale and still expensive. They wanted a leap, not an upgrade. From the beginning, Quantum behaved like a ghost. No big press releases, no public patent trail, no open product roadmap. Instead, people describe private investors, silent test sites, and communication locked behind encryption. Why hide? Inside accounts claimed the team feared interference. They believed that if powerful fossil fuel interests saw a true threat, the project would be crushed before it could breathe. So they stayed quiet and built. Those close to the project say the goal was simple to describe and hard to believe. A generator that doesn't need fuel, doesn't burn anything, and doesn't rely on sunlight or wind alone. A device that harvests ambient environmental energy continuously. Whether that sounds visionary or delusional depends on your starting point, but it explains the obsession, the secrecy, and the name that keeps surfacing in leaks. The Earth Engine. Model 30 and the Earth Engine claim. In clips and second-hand accounts, one unit keeps coming up, Model 30. It's described as the third in a line of commercial Earth engines, produced at a national training center in Scottsdale, Arizona. To most eyes, it looks almost boring. A polished cylinder, a few cables, a faint hum you barely notice. That plain look is part of the mystery. It resembles industrial hardware, not a sci-fi prop. Quantum has not released blueprints. It has not filed the kind of patents that would let outsiders inspect the idea. So the device remains a black box. The claims about what happens inside come from interviews with former staff, shaky live streams, and leaked notes. Supporters say it taps into ambient kinetic and magnetic fields. Not just a spinning wheel, but the background motion in the environment. Low frequency vibrations in the ground, shifting charge in the atmosphere, and interactions with magnetic forces we normally treat as noise. Some rumors push it further, hinting at quantum field effects. You may even hear talk of dark energy. 
though that part sounds more like speculation than engineering. What is consistent is the promise. Once activated, the unit supposedly sustains motion by pulling energy that is always present around it. Quantum also claims it can scale, from powering a light bulb to powering a block of buildings. If true, that isn't a gadget. It's a rewrite of the rules. Whispers, leaks, and silent containers. The public evidence is thin, but the stories are thick. In early 2021, a Reddit user posted a grainy night photo of what looked like a shipping container glowing faintly. The post claimed no visible wires were feeding it, yet inside, lights, heaters, and computers were running non-stop. It was dismissed as a hoax, then saved and reposted, then argued about again. After that, whispers multiplied. People who described themselves as former interns talked about small industrial parks in Ohio and Nevada, where machines ran for weeks without needing a recharge or refueling. Others described underground rooms where teams measured output around the clock, logging numbers, watching for drift, and waiting for failure that never came. None of this is confirmed, and that is the point. Quantum allegedly invites select visitors under strict non-disclosure agreements, then refuses to let cameras roam or parts be inspected. Insiders suggest there are at least five active test locations in the United States, with more in Canada and Mexico. One rumor says a local utility company tried to trace a strange drop in usage and couldn't find a conventional source. Another claims nearby power bills fell sharply, as if someone unplugged a building from the grid. Without open data, these are only shadows on a wall. But the shadows keep returning, and they all point to the same question. Why would so many people describe the same kind of machine? Backlash, physics, and a simple question. If the Earth engine works, it doesn't just threaten a product line. It threatens the structure of energy itself. Oil becomes less valuable. Gas pipelines turn into rusting monuments. Coal plants shut down. Even nuclear fades in importance. That kind of disruption does not happen politely, so the darker parts of the legend appear. Leaked messages and ex-worker claims speak of legal threats, people being poached, and quiet intimidation. One senior engineer is said to have vanished for weeks, then returned and refused to explain where he had been. There are also stories of unexplained fires and sudden data losses, though outsiders can't verify any of it. Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps this channel reach more people. And now, the hard reality. Mainstream physics hates the phrase endless energy. The laws of thermodynamics say every machine has losses. Energy cannot be created from nothing. That is why skeptics call this a perpetual motion scam wearing a new mask. Quantum's defense is a narrow one. They are not creating energy. They claim they are harvesting energy that already exists in the environment. That idea is not crazy in itself. We already harvest wind, tides, and geothermal heat. The difference is that Quantum is claiming a blend of inputs we don't fully understand. A few scientists watch from a distance, not convinced, but curious. Because one clean, open, repeatable test would end the debate instantly. If it's real, then 2025 changes everything. Let's imagine the claim is true. You put a device the size of a microwave in your home. It powers lights, refrigeration, and car charging with no bill and no smoke. Multiply that across a city, and the map changes fast. Desalination plants make fresh water in deserts. Indoor farms grow food all year with tight control. Remote villages power schools and clinics without miles of transmission lines. Grid failures are history. Smog fades as coal burning and oil drilling become pointless. Energy poverty, one of the deepest roots of inequality, starts to dissolve. And when energy stops being scarce, wars over oil lose their reason. That is the world Quantum hints at. Power not just for gadgets, but power to uplift. Now, zoom back to the present. Quantum has drawn a line in the sand. 2025. They say the world will see a full public demonstration, on camera, with a device unconnected to any grid, lighting a small town block or industrial site in real time. 
Skeptics are ready to measure every wire and every hidden path. Supporters want proof at last. Quantum claims it has refined multiple units, solved early stability problems, and started planning for mass production. They also mention slow safety regulations and legal pushback that drag timelines out. They have hinted that if they cannot prove it, they will release what they can and walk away, so the idea does not die behind locked doors. If they are bluffing, 2025 will expose it. If they are not, 2025 could be the year everything changes. So where does that leave us? With a story that sits right on the edge of hope and doubt. Quantum energy might be hiding a real breakthrough, or it might be chasing a dream that can't survive daylight. But the world they describe is worth imagining. Power without smoke, without scarcity, and without fear of the next blackout. Until a true public test happens, stay curious and stay sharp. Ask for measurements, ask for open conditions. And if 2025 brings a working Earth engine on camera, remember this moment, when the future was still only a hum in the dark.